Hey guys, some tips for you aspiring pad holders out there. Uh, you'll see it's the biggest fitness craze in the world at the minute. Everybody's picking it up. Lots of PTs that don't necessarily know what they're doing. So if you're looking at picking it up, here's some tips that I can give you. It's very important for you to do it properly because it save you from injury, keep you in your job. It also helps to make your client look better on the pads because you know what you're doing. So the first few tips is these are symbolizing actual real life tangible targets, which is someone's head. This is the very first thing you'll see people do when they hold pads. Stand there like this and make people punch way too wide. If you punch me, sir. Now how big is someone's head? Okay, no. All you need to do, drop your elbows in and here, okay, just in front of each other this way. Bah, bah. Now look how straight those punches are. Bang, bang. see? Bah, bah. Straight away, if that was in my face, they'd both be in line. Uh, exactly the right targets. This is representing my big fat nose being caved in by Mike. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is drop them down, make some nice small targets. The next tip is actually give a bit of resistance back on the pads. A lot of uh, newer people when they first start, they'll get this tip and then they'll just stand there like this, hit properly. Okay, now, does that feel good for you? There's no resistance on it, okay? So you need to give a bit of, because if he was hitting me, I'd be resisting slightly, because I, I don't want it to hurt. So I've got to synth synthesize. Emulate. Emulate that. Okay, you ready? Ba -ba. Okay. Ba -ba. So I'm just, as that punch comes, just do the cross. I'm just meeting it with a bit of resistance. And again, okay. Ba -ba. Ba -ba. So they're all nice and tight. Bang, bang, bit of resistance. Okay, that's all you need to make them start feeling good. The next most common mistake is hooks. Now, trainers will first do this, which is awful. My head isn't this low, my head's not that fat. Okay, double hooks are a bit weird as well. Uh, it's not very often you'll throw a double hook. So the best one to start with is just your left hook. It takes a lot of teaching points to teach someone how to do a left hook properly, but we're not gonna worry about that now. We're just gonna worry about how to hold pads for a left hook, okay? So you're nice and tight here. Again, you're making a realistic target. So all you do, bat, bat for your jab cross. Always throw a left hook after you cross. Turn the pad here, that's it, bat, bat, bat. You don't need to reach out. You don't need to come back. You don't angle it downwards. It's just beep, bat, boop. Easy as that, you ready? That's it. Again, resistance on that hook. Elbow down, don't let it move. Fingers up, not out this way. Bah, bah, bah. Easy as that. Bah, bah, bah. Bah, bah, bah. Now they're the only three punches you need to start with. You can start doing 10 punches in a row. Single crosses, single jabs, jab cross hook. Okay, you can do all these things, get a really good workout with three punches. Work on that to start with, build up your speed, your confidence, your power. You'll be flying in no time, looking better than most people in the business.